How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So as you see here, this is the full Tang tactical kit bag. And I had a lot of questions on how do I build my rig out so heavy or why do I do that? Well, the why is kind of specifically for me, but how is what I am going to show you here. All this stuff laid out is gonna go onto this kit bag. Now it doesn't have to, that's the cool thing about this. This is pretty slick right now. The only thing that I've added so far are these magazine pouches on the side, which do not come with it. But this is a very slick, nice kit bag that also you know, comes with the harness, which is really nice as well. But I'm gonna show you how I build my heavy kit out. So this would be my kind of warfighter or like, not end of the world, but bug out bag heavy kit. If I needed to carry a rifle with me, this is going to be my go-to because it's scalable. And we're going to show you that right now. So I'm going to build it out in front of you with all these parts. I'm going to talk about it. Why do I do it and how do I do it? But if you just want a rundown of just the end product, go ahead and go below with a chapter system. You can skip ahead if you want. But if you want to see the details on how I build this out, it might give you some ideas for random stuff that you may want to put on it that helps you in your situation. So do what you will, might be a little bit longer of a video, but we're sending it, here's the how to, here's how I'm making my kit bag out. All right, so let's dive into it. So of course, you're gonna start off with the kit bag itself, right? It's gonna be all enclosed. As you can see, this is that little pouch that can open if necessary, or you can run it slick just like this and have one pouch off the front to put whatever you want into it. Mainly what I do for beefing up or modularity is mainly three components. The first being the Bees Combat Systems um, expansion wings. These wings are really nice and we're gonna add this real quick. I'll show you here in a second. I already have my pouches already addressed onto it as well. So we're not gonna be putting the Molly because finicking through Molly is just too much of a pain on camera. Next is a roll one trauma kit, which is not a trauma kit. And I'll explain what this can be used for other than water and a dangler. So a couple other things too that I'll discuss. But the first thing that I'm gonna add on to it is going to be the bees combat system side wings. That's normally the easiest way to do it. We're gonna open it up. As you see, the Velcro's pretty good. So now you have that pass-through, of course. And I, like I said, you don't have to run this pass-through. It could be set like it was, and that's how you can run it. But it's easier to do this first. All right, so let's add this. The cool thing about the side wings is they just reasonably go on. Now you have to line it up. I have a bunch of stuff in here, which I probably should have taken out my radio and all kinds of other stuff prior. Let's go ahead. You got to line it up. Fairly well. And then you can poke these through. Now you can test to see how close or how far away they are, but the intent is for this flap, you put the little buckles through, and this flap goes down inside. And it Velcros to it, see? So now the side wings are attached and you're good to go. So the next thing I'm going to add is a triple magazine insert for three magazines to be ran inside of this, which is pretty nice. Now Velcro is a pain to use sometimes, but ultimately you get them down just a little bit. You don't want it too far down because then your magazines are too far down inside of it, or you don't want it too far up. And then you can compress it together. I normally push it down pretty good. There's the three magazines inserted right now. So let's move on to the bottom portion. This is where you're gonna have to open it up a little bit more again. Now, 
Two more expansion systems that I use, like I talked about, the Faro Concepts Dangler, which is pretty nice, is this one I will run on the bottom side because we're looking at it inverted on the front half of this. So it'll ride right here, mainly to give a pocket of this so it doesn't like kind of bang into me. So as you can see here, you can open this up fairly well and you gotta line it up. This one's kind of tricky. And you gotta be it, do it just right. So it goes in there and then you can pull these little tabs back up and then compress it together. As you see, now this is running just like that. It's really nice. And as you can see, looking down from it at the side, this is in front. So you have all this excess space, which is nice for the next thing I'm going to add, which is the Roll One Trauma Kit. Now, I pulled out the Trauma Kit, of course, and I put in a Life Water Bottle. Now, you could put Bear Spray in this if you wanted to as well, or any other cylindrical-based device or whatever you're talking about whatever you want, but what I normally do is I put this one either in between here or on the back side, so going back up. But what I'm gonna do for this one, just to sandwich it in there, I'm gonna add it right here, kind of further up as well. So how it goes right there. Again, get all that stuff out of the way and tuck it down. So now, as you see, looking down at it, this rides in front and then this gets pushed ahead. So it's a straight line straight down to your body. Next, we are going to be adding the multi-mission hanger by um, Warrior Poet Society. I really like these. These work out very well for adding extra magazines if you really want to. And I normally go lower with these and a little bit further out. Right there, put one. Other side. I had them inverted. There we go. And then do the same for this. A little bit further down and out to the sides so they're not binding into your rib cage. Now, if you really wanted to, you could even plus up more, which I guess you could, which this is a double magazine pouch by uh, Travis Haley. And you could again place another magazine, so or two more. So that would pretty much give you, well, we got three, four, five, six, you got seven magazines and one in the firearm. Now, I don't run it like this. This comes off, but I normally never do, but just to get the wheels moving, that is a way to do it. So normally now I will just put this here. For the most part, that is how it is done. Now, of course you can add your magazines. Now there's a couple other things that are gonna need to be done on this to make it more, you know, attached or proper because you'll see here that the bees combat wings do not or not they're not designed to work with this kit why is that is because it's a very large opening and as you see i already cut my zip ties that's what you're going to have to do so i know it's kind of rigged up i guess you could say but currently there's nothing on the market which soon to be full tank tactile is going to make their own wings allow to expand off of it but right now what I have to do is fish this down through the molly, which I'll show you here in a second, if I can get it out, right? And then what I do is I will come up through this and I will zip tie it, just like that. But I'll cinch it down, of course, because I'm not gonna do it here, just because I wanna kinda orient some stuff just for, so it fits my body. Now, of course, your straps are modular and I'm a small guy, so I don't run them all the way down here. I run them further up and these clip straight in. 
So, and then they'll go around to the sides as well. Now you can add, you know, whatever items or whatever you want inside of this. I'm not going to go over what I run in this video specifically. Um, maybe another video I will, but I just wanted to show you. So give you a quick rundown right now, everything that's on it after we saw it. All right. So you have the original full tank tactical, um, kit bag, right? So then I added two of the Kiwis from STAC onto the side with Bungie. The newer updated one will have Molly, so you don't have to do that. You can still add single row magazines. Next, as an insert, you have a three triple mag or one triple mag insert into here. You have to make sure with this, if you want to buy one, that it has the bottoms so your magazines don't slip all the way out. Make sure that they do have the bottoms or you're gonna be wasting some money which you don't want to do that. That's no fun. Next on the bottom here, this is a Ferro Concepts mini dangler. As you can see, put whatever you want in it. It's in my trauma kit. But like I said, you put whatever you want. Moving further down again, this is the Roll One Trauma Kit by Ferro Concepts again. But I put a water bottle in it. You can put bear spray in it. You can put, you leave it as a trauma kit and then use this one as your, you know, the mini is your Licky Chewies or whatever you want however you want to do it. Next is the Bees Combat Systems Side Wings. Now this is the Travis Haley or the HSP D3. And as I talked about, it is not properly set up for it. So you're going to have to zip tie the sides together. Not that big of a deal because they don't make anything that solves this problem. But I guarantee you here in the new near future, like I said, Full Tank Tactical is coming out with their own design. So you can do either or whatever you prefer. Next, I have on the side, actually on the side wings, I just have an admin pouch, a larger one. It's like an NVG pouch. And then on the bottom, this is a Flatline Fiberco um, dump pouch. And this rides in behind the Molly, so you can get double up on your space. And I normally run with that. One of the last things also is the Warrior Poet Society multi-mission side danglers or side pouches and they're very nice these are easily removable if you don't want to run them pretty cool so ultimately this is my kit this is my heavy configuration mainly for bug out get home bag worst case scenario and i have to have magazines on me this is the kit that i'm going to be running also going to be running this kit at tusk coming up too so i'll probably have an after action report of that and talk a little bit about how this kit did in a bunch, the whole course in general. So, of course, you can add all kinds of stuff onto this, you know, Garmin in reach, you know, gloves, extra magazines, radio, wh whatever you want. I'm showing you my heavy rig. It's scalable up and it's scalable down. It's kind of cool. I like it. Figured I'd show it with y'all. So, there it is. That's how I build it out. If you guys want to know the details of everything that I keep in this for Tusk coming up, Give me a comment, some likes, stuff like that. Type out something like, hey, I really want to see it. And if I get enough of those, I'll probably end up showing you. So this is the Full Tank Tactical kit bag, which is honestly awesome. Scalable up and down the scale, super hardcore, and I like it. And that is exactly why I ditched the Hill People gear rig and I went to this. So other than that, I hope you all have a great day.